Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, really exciting game from the official random world championship 2022 uh, finally we see in action the world uh, the reigning world official random champion Wesley So uh, versus uh, Icelandic uh, Icelandic own uh, Hjörvar Stein Grieterson who was invited by by the Iceland Chess Federation as they are the organizers and he is the highest rated uh, player uh, from Iceland and uh, this is the second game in the first game uh, with the white pieces uh, Hjörvar held Wesley to a draw uh, they played 100 moves and it was quite the game this game however is much much different from that one so let's dive straight into it and see uh, what's what so Wesley has the white pieces and he opens with pawn to d4 and also uh, something that I'm sure you guys would um, uh, would appreciate that the first move uh, to this game uh, was made by a, a very certain individual uh, here you have it let me just uh, load that up uh, let me make it a little s smaller uh, we've discussed him but a long long time ago uh, when we were doing the Bobby Fischer saga so there you have it the first move uh, uh, of the of the event was made uh, by none other than uh, uh, Gudmundur uh, Toraninson, former chair chairman of the Icelandic Chess Federation and organizer of the Fischer Spassky match in 1972. Uh, as they say, without him, it would not be possible. A very nice photo by David Lada. Uh, so, there we have it for you guys to enjoy before we actually check out the game. Now, let's dive straight into it. D4 by Wesley and now pawn to D5. So, both of them now uh, sticking to what, what, what seems to be working best, uh, like uh, we've seen in that Magnus game against. Um, uh, Vladimir uh, that that didn't go all that well but okay d4 d5 knight to c3 and now pawn to c6 we have pawn to e4 by Wesley sort of a, a Karo Khan defense if you will uh, we have d captures on e4 you could also just uh, play e6 you don't have to capture but uh, he prefers an open game d captures knight captures and the bishop to b6 now putting pressure on the d4 pawn we have c3 and now knight to d7 we have queen to e2 and Knight to d7, even though it's uh, only move 5, uh, is already a move that uh, should be categorized as, as a mistake. It kind of gives white already a winning advantage. And it, it doesn't uh, seem like it should be so, but after Wesley's queen to e2 move, now you see that it's very, very hard for black to actually move his pieces. Uh, to give you an example, okay, uh, it's not like black's going to do something like bishop to d8. But let's say you have something on d8, this is already checkmate. So you have to be very, very careful on how you play this. Also, you have to be careful to have control over the f6 square, so you don't want to uh, see something like knight to f6. So here, bishop back to c7, now regaining control over the d6 square, and now uh, Wesley castles king side. We have knight to, f, uh, knight to f6, challenging the knight on e4, and just knight uh, h to g3. We have pawn to h5, now getting ready to kick away the knight, but Wesley just trades. Knight captures on f6, g captures, and now knight captures on h5. He grabs the pawn and threatens knight captures on f6 with check which will be devastating so king to d8 by Horvath, this is in fact the, the absolute best move recommended by the engine. Uh, you get the king away from that e-file, so now knight captures on f6 is not a threat. And now Wesley goes with the bishop to f4. You could also just bust open the position with d5, uh, but as the world ra uh, world um, official random champion, of course, Wesley knows that you must also develop your pieces. Uh, we have knight to g6 now attacking the, uh, the bishop here and captures on c7. We have king captures and now queen e3 uh, trying to win back um, uh, control over that's another weird arrow uh, uh, win back control over the dark square so you don't want your your um, uh, opponent to be able to hide his king if he can develop the bishop get the rook into the game and hide the king let's say all the way on a8 then black should be fine so here bishop to e6 this is what your uh, will try of course and now how can Wesley continue this there are two ways uh, both of them require you to go after the bishop on e6 one of them is knight to f4 this is not what Wesley chose and good thing he didn't because we wouldn't have this brilliancy on our hands uh, but just to show you uh, uh, it, it, it's a very fine move for example if knight captures queen captures with check king d7 now you are Again, keeping the king in the center of the board, you are preventing the rook from entering the game. 
Now let's say bishop to f3, and it's very hard for black to make a move. If he wants the castle artificially by force, rook d8 and king to c8, it's not gonna be something that black enjoys. For example, rook f to d1, king to c8, now I just play c4, and you are busting open the position, there's no playing this. If you if you, if you capture here, still just d5, and the position opens up, uh, this is completely unplayable. So instead, after bishop to e6, okay, Wesley could go knight f4, he goes bishop to b3, now says, okay, Okay, I'm, I'm still gonna capture on e6, this is the idea, and if you capture, I get the open a file for my rook, or rather, the semi-open a file. And okay, bishop captures on b3 is played, we have a captures on b3, and now rook to h8. Going after the rook here, the knight here, now comes queen to g3 with check, and uh, king to d7 is black's last hope at playing this, but he goes for king to b6, that's uh, kind of the idea of all of this, maybe the king can now... Uh, hide on the queen side uh, with the move some like pawn a6, king to a7, and then the rook is brought into the game. Uh, but here, Wesley just plays pawn to c4. And you have to, uh, well, you have to be a strong player to see this, and Wesley as the world champion of this fine format um, definitely is. You can see that the queen controls c7, pawn controls c5, rook, rook controls a5, a6, and not a lot of squares for that black king. So, of course, pawn to c4, tightening the noose even further a6 freeing up the a7 square for the black king now comes pawn to c5 with check look at this king to a7 and now what do you play i'm sure you guys know but just in case you don't feel free to pause the video and win the game for wesley it's in fact a forced checkmate in four uh so while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding a, a true brilliancy in the position. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, it is, of course, Rook captures on a6. We are going to do it in, in very slow motion. There you have it, Rook captures on a6. So congratulations to everyone who found this. Uh, and it was in this position on move 19 that uh, Hjorvar Steingretrasson resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, truly a brilliancy by, by Wesley with the white pieces. Only 19 moves and... Uh, here you resign if 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 the if the pawn captures rook then queen to c7 is mate in one but if the king captures it doesn't really help you just rook to a1 check king has to go to b5 now comes queen to d3 check king before and queen to c4 will be checkmate so truly truly wonderful interesting uh, after a6 is played it's already a, a mate in five after c5 check the, the, this is absolutely all, all force king to b5 runs into the, the other checkmate so you have to play this and then just a beautiful rook cap after a6 beautiful beautiful way to to, to, to end the game so uh Gretarsson, uh manages to, to hold on uh, to a draw against wesley in in the first game uh took him 100 moves but he was able to do it but in the second one uh he already uh, played a uh, played a quite quite a weakening in the position uh, already on move five with this knight to d7 move and after queen to e2 there was just no way to actually get back into the game and that's all wesley needed to take control of the uh, of the game so there you see what a a, a official random world champion is, is cake capable of uh so yeah uh, that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it here we can enjoy this photo uh, one more time if you guys liked it so there you have it there's the photo uh, nicely uh, nicely presented by, by david lada Hope we see many more of those. Uh, and yeah, very nicely done by Wesley. We'll see what happens. Uh, will will he be able to uh, defend his title or will he uh, will, will he not? Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank Derek, uh, Alex Williams, Stephen Pryor, Sehandri Subramanian, John Sheriff and Kave Halimadi, uh, Ali Amadi uh, 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 and uh, sharing the, the treats for Medo. Thank you very much for that. Uh, re really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of this fine event uh, until it finishes. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day and hope we see many more uh, epic games like this one. See you soon.